How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Sick Daddy Dave. And those who caught my last episode will recognize where I'm coming from there. But this is episode 21 of a Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22 on the Platinum Expansion map Silver Run Forest. When we last left off, we built all this. We put in the giant uh, shed here. We got the shed with hydraulic lifts right over here. And our house all on this property that's next to the southern sawmill so it kind of works out very nicely that uh, we're kind of centrally located to all the uh, things in the area we're not too far away from our original nursery property and are able to kind of uh, expand and grow this property quite a bit actually because I mean you can see there's still quite a bit of space here that's left to be used but right now uh, we really lack the money uh, for doing too much more because we kind of went spent like drunken sailors in the last episode but uh, I was over at the iron furnace and I wanted to run up to the iron mine up in the north and just gather what materials over there uh, be able to gather what's there bring it down here fill up the furnace and then go ahead and just kind of sell the remainder uh, at the shipping up in the northern sawmill but uh, we'll go ahead and jet on over there, and I'll cut us back in once we get up there. We'll see you there. Okay, so we're just arriving here. Whoa, slow down. We're going to go ahead and load all this uh, iron ore in. Alright, kind of unfold the pipe here. Let's go ahead and back up just a bit. And fire this up. Not going to be a whole ton here, but just enough to kind of top off and we can kind of collect on the remainder. Oh, a little bit more than I expected. It's almost almost 30,000 liters. Wow, I'm shocked. Alright, let's go ahead and fold this away. I just noticed there's kind of this walking path. Oh, hey, 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 stop, stop, stop. Kind of noticed this walking path up here. What? There's a tower up there. I don't think I ever noticed that up there. I want to see what's up here. Oh, pretty little walking trail. Oh, a little bridge. See, this would be the spot, like looking out on these cliffs and whatnot, this would be the spot for like a collectible. That or up in the tower up there would be a perfect spot for a collectible. Just some place, you know, off, off to the side that you wouldn't ever necessarily go to unless you went and checked. But you, you know what? I want to check. Okay, well... Doesn't appear to be anything up here. Well, let's go check up in the tower. Might be something there. Oh, wait, wait. You. Sneaky, sneaky. Looky here. Little wolf. Sweet. And while we're up here, I am going to go and look for another one. While I was on a, uh, what was it, the log transport mission, uh, I did find one. It's just across the river. I didn't collect it just yet. I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. So let's uh, jet on over there, head back down. This is a cool little path, like all nice and lit. Okay, so I was working on a contract, one of the log transports, and I just so happened to drive by. Let's see. Kind of have to 
make out where it was. I think it's over here. But I was driving by on one of these bridges. I just so happened to look over and saw something that caught my eye. Come up here. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm in the ballpark. Yeah, here's the bridge. So I was driving by in this bridge, and I just so happened to look over. Ta da! Little turtle. So now we only have five sculptures to go, so that's pretty sweet. Alright. I'm going to run back to the tractor and uh, deliver that iron ore. We'll see you there. Alright, big hike up the mountain there. But now let's go ahead and fill up our iron ore as well as top uh, or sell off the rest of this. in this direction because this will take us right to like in the right direction of dropping this off at the uh, uh, iron furnace that's what I'm looking for so I am starting to get on the mend get a little bit better uh, I don't know if I had just a really bad flu or something but it was it was pretty gnarly I was running a fever on and off for several days uh, on top of that uh, you know just general nasal almost like a, a sinus infection on top of uh, just a massive splitting headache uh, just it, it just sucked it, it was just terrible <clears throat> and just no energy, aches, chills, just, it was, it was awful. Probably the sickest I've been in, honestly, quite some time. And I generally don't, don't get sick. Like, it's pretty rare that I get, like, this bad. I'll get, you know, the occasional headache or something, but this one was, was pretty up there. So, hence the reason why I went with Sick Daddy Dave for the intro. <laughs> But, uh, but no, it's just, thankf thankfully everything's starting to come back around and, you know, write itself out, so I'm pretty happy about that. But we'll go ahead and cut us back in as soon as we get to the uh, iron mill. We'll see you there. Alright, so we're rapidly approaching the iron, uh, iron plant here. We've got quite a bit of metal just sitting there. We might have to do something about that later. But right now, there we go. Go ahead and back this up. It's not going to take a lot. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we'll have about. A little over 21,000 liters to take up to the Northern Sawmill for shipping. We'll meet you up there. Well, one thing I will show, uh, one thing we were working on off camera is we're starting to cut out this kind of uh, side of this hill here. We're just cutting down a lot of the freestanding uh, harvestable trees. We're not cutting out any of the uh, you know, ones that you have to use a wood chipper in order to get them out. Uh, we're leaving a lot of those in uh, just to kind of uh, one and get an influx of product into our sawmills through our distributor and then from there be able to uh, just kind of keep up on things and with all the products that we're producing now we're starting to get a good steady flow of income from all those products but uh, a lot of them are powered by you know the harvesting of wood so a lot of the wood harvesting is going to get done in the background uh, we're not gonna you know do a whole bunch of uh, compilations and stuff like that for the wood harvesting 
because uh, we've already done several of those. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of uh, do all that mostly in the background. Ooh, man, this trailer does not let you stop that well. I'm pretty sure that the weight of the trailer makes it very front heavy, or uh, very rear heavy, but I don't know, I don't know, I just, it's possible there's just not enough weight on the front, and that's why this tractor won't stop, I'll have to experiment with some front weights. I'm quite curious, there's a decent amount of wood chips, ooh jeepers. You know, since we're up here, we might as well just grab the wood chips that are up here and take them down to the uh, pelletizer. Oh, I cannot stop. There we go. Let's try that again. Alright, well, got about 38,000, 39. So, not a bad chunk of change for something that you just gotta go up and collect. And now... Well, 17,000 wood chips. That's not bad at all. So take that up to the pelletizer and have them uh, make some wood pellets. And then those will get... D Whoa. Helps if I lift up the front implement. So like I was saying, it's... Uh, We'll make some wood chips into wood pellets, wood pellets into uh, the heat press, or not heat press, heat plant, and uh, yeah, I mean, we've got quite a bit over at the heat plant currently. When I get a straight chunk of road, I can look it up real quick. Uh, about right here be, should be fine. Oh, right here. 30,000 liters of heat. So in March, we're going to get a massive payout. Uh, we got about 200,000, uh, I think is what we got last time. A little over 200,000 for, I think, half of that. So we're probably going to get, you know, by the time March comes around next year, uh, probably three quarters of a mil is going to be my guess. If uh, we kind of keep up with, uh, keep the pace up, it's going to be my guess. And what's kind of nice about the whole uh, hay technique that I'm working on now, as I collect the grass using the, uh, the forage wagon with the silage additive, I get that bonus of the grass getting picked up. I think it's like a 5% bonus, and dumping it right into my production plant there, I should be able to skip that whole middleman of putting in the silo, and then taking it back out, dumping it on the ground, making the hay, you know, doing all this kind of uh, extra steps in order to get things to work for the bonus. Um, well, now this will just give me the bonus naturally. So, whoa. That didn't work out at all. Okay, so over here, where is it? Do, 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 do. There it is. Wood pellets. Pow. Oh, we're going to need some more molasses. Well, here, let's back up. And squeeze through here. Hello, train. Uh, we need probably another 20k. Oh. Uh. Or 50,000. That'll work. There we go. 
All right, so got molasses there, ready for us to load into the pellet press. Let's uh, come over here real quick, because I've been kind of thinking about the amount of materials that are needed, and our northern sawmill is pretty much at capacity with the amount of items they can produce. You can see here, uh, even though I've got on distributing, we've got, you know, 8,000 liters of planks, 5,000 liters of planks long. We've got, uh, let's see, wood beams, 5,000 liters, and prefab walls, 2,000, almost 3,000 liters. You know, all that said and done, like, we, we need more. Like, th this might seem like a lot, but our roller coaster over here has taken up almost all of that. The boat takes up a good chunk of everything else. I mean, <clears throat> by the time everything's all said and done, we're not really uh, progressing as quickly as I'd like. You figure we're on episode 21, we still haven't even finished the roller coaster yet. So, I was thinking about putting in another sawmill, and then, just so happens, this popped up today. I will uh, get a hold of my contractor. And I think we're going to put in a sawmill right over in the corner over here. This is what I've been kind of eyeing up this corner for. So let's check it out. And there it is. Right over in the corner we were able to put it down. And we got us a brand new sawmill. Now this just came out as a mod uh, today as a matter of fact. Which I'm really excited about and this is why. Look at this. Planks fast, planks long fast, beams fast, prefab walls fast. You can even just make straight up wood chips with this particular sawmill. You can take all your wood, make it into wood chips. And you're getting, for every one liter of wood, 2.5 liters of wood chips. So, I mean, you're, you're getting quite a bit. And you're getting quite a bit of wood chips uh, in this process. You're getting 10 liters of wood chips for every 416 liters of wood, uh, 120, 120. And then 120. I mean, you, you're getting quite a significant uh, amount for all these. Now, we could potentially double, actually. If we wanted to pay the $24 extra per month per, uh, per event, we could double these processes. It's not going to get us a whole heck of a lot more uh, than what we're going to get, but, you know, it is what it is kind of thing. But, at the top of the hour, our wood distribution... Up in the, uh, where is it? It's just on top of the hill back here. There it is, right there. Is going to distribute wood to here as well as to our northern sawmill as it's been doing. You can see the northern sawmill at the moment has. Do, 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 do. Yeah, look at that. 19,572 liters. So it's just chugging along, it's getting its uh, distributions out. But uh, I think at this point, now that we've got uh, a little bit of extra cash, uh, we're going to go and get a little bit of extra cash because, you know, we could always use some more. But we've got tons of products just kind of around, ready to be, you know, shipped up and, you know, dealt with in various ways. So I'm going to take my tractor and trailer, I'm going to put it back in the barn over there, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, load up and make some money. See you in a bit. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move our tractor, like I said, over to the storage spot there. Get everything all situated. And I think what we'll do is we'll get the semi-truck as well as the uh, telehandler. And we'll start loading all the stuff up so we can... Uh, them off and make some money. Let's see, we're here at the end. Ooh, 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 forgot about the forgot about that. There we go. Nope. There we go. Oh, let's put this away. About right, about right there. 
good spot for it. There we go. Now let's put our tractor away. All right. Grab our semi truck here, as well as our flatbed. Perfect. And here. I'm rather curious because Giants just recently released an update. Uh, to the Platinum Edition. I'm not sure if this is going to make any difference or whatnot, but there's been a lot of issues with trailers ever since the Platinum Edition released. Uh, you load up stuff onto your trailer, such as a piece of equipment or whatever, and it wants to completely, I don't know, break out is probably the best way I can put it. So let's kind of put it through its paces and see how it works. And so far, everything appears to be normal. Okay. Like, I'm going 40 miles an hour, and I'm seeing some bucking, but... Whoa. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? I was going 40 miles an hour, and... You know, it's behaving the way I would expect it to for loaded trailer at 40 miles an hour. You know, okay. I can live with that kind of reactions. With a loaded trailer. Alright. We're going to start with the metal here. We'll get our... Uh, uh, let's see. Boop. Boop. We're going to load the metal. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. Got the metal fully loaded. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and turn that off. All the straps. Fold up the trailer. Now we need to go pick up some of the other things. We need to pick up our... Uh, items from the wood turner. We need to pick up our uh, let's see, our, uh, floor tiles. Like we got, ooh, yeah, we definitely have a lot more weight on this trailer now. We just want the railings. We don't need to take these other ones. Well, we can. Yeah, we can take them. That's fine. I think if I do some like this, go on this side and push it with the next. like that. Alright, we're going to get all this loaded up. We'll see you in a while. Alright, now that we've got this all loaded up, go ahead and load up our telehandler again. going to head up to the floor tiles. You see up there. 
Okay, so we're here at the floor tile factory. I'm just gonna park here in the grass. And we're gonna load up. Uh, forward. There we go. Drop that. Turn that off. Do this. Do that. Turn that on. Raise. Back up. Okay. Let's collect the floor tiles. We'll see when those are done. Okay. Now we've got all these loaded up, we're going to take them... I'm going to kind of do this in reverse order. I'm going to go to the boatyard first. Because we've got all of our needs really covered at this stage for the roller coaster. As you can see, it's actually progressing very nicely. Ooh, pay attention to the road. Progressing very nicely. I mean, it's looking really, really cool. I can't wait for it to be finished. I want to definitely want to hop on and take a ride, see how it uh, see how it goes. But you can actually see it's starting to connect. Let me back up just real quick. What is going on here with the truck? Why do I feel like I'm losing my telehandler? Because I am. Holy smokes. What's going on? What's going on? Stop it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Let's try this again, shall we? Boop. Close enough. So you can see how it's actually starting to connect over to the second half of it, this back end here. So it's getting closer and closer and being done. That's sweet. Okay, so starting with the boat. What it needs. Did I not get in the zone or do I not have anything that it can actually take? No, guess not. Okay, well, now we go to the roller coaster, and then whatever doesn't sell there, we'll uh, go to the market, right there across the street. sell some stuff but not a lot so let's go ahead and just go to the market right across the street and we'll sell that off right there we should make a pretty pretty decent amount too There's quite a bit here Oh yeah, almost 80,000 just between those uh, two blips, so yeah, that's not too, uh, not too bad at all. Alright, now we need to go up to the northern sawmill, because we've got tons of stuff up there, and uh, deliver it down to the boats and to the, uh, to the uh, roller coaster. We'll uh, gather all that up and distribute it out, and we'll cut back in afterwards. We'll see you then. Okay. So as you can see, we got done delivering all the stuff to uh, the various places. Mainly we delivered a bunch of stuff to the boatyard, the roller coaster, and then finally we just sold the rest to the uh, the supermarket right up here. The, uh, do, 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 why can't I think of the name? It's that little selling point right there. Yeah, Silver Run Market. That's where we sold it to. So, yeah, we uh, made quite a bit of money with all the uh, lumber materials. 
and some time has passed. Some uh, wood has been delivered to all of the various locations, including our new sawmill. So let's kind of check that out, see what it's up to. Uh, I'm just going to go into my grass here. Because uh, this person's driving slow. Oh, look at that. We already got stuff uh, being produced. Holy smokes, I don't feel like this has been running long at all. Already got almost 2,000 liters of wood chips and... Heck yeah, look at that, that's... We got a pallet of each down here. Sweet! And then we've got almost 2,000 liters of wood chips piling up over here. Nice, nice! Alright, well let's go ahead and put all this stuff back and... Okay... Actually, oh, you know what? It just occurred to me. Before we go and put this stuff away, turn that off. Got the contractor over here. He's going to try and build me something. Let's see if uh, he can work his magic. And there we go. We now have a really large sheep pen, or sheep barn. Extra large, as a matter of fact. Let's see. So. We don't have any grass or anything like that. So what we're going to do in the next episode, now that we've got this all set up, we will get the sheep that we need. We need to uh, cut down some of this grass so we have something to put in here. I mean, we've got, uh, yeah, we've got a bit of work ahead of us. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I think, uh, I think we got a lot accomplished in this episode. we got a brand new sheep barn. This can hold up to, uh, what was it, 250 sheep? It's pretty... Yeah, 250 sheep. That's that's a pretty good size sheep pen. So, yeah, that's uh, that's excellent, and it will produce some wool. And we'll be able to use uh, down the line for other uh, other things, like uh, for the boat yard and whatnot. We'll be able to turn that into uh, what is it? Not linen, but uh, what is the fabric? We'll be able to turn it into fabric, and use that for uh, the production of the boat sails. And uh, any other production points that may need that along the lines, or down the lines. But, uh, yeah, we got our new sawmill that's rapidly producing. Actually, we've got about one more minute before it rolls over, and we can actually see just how fast this actually produces. Like, it's, it's pretty outrageous how fast this goes. Uh, let's see. I'll cut it when I'll cut it back in once the minute rolls over. There it goes. Check it out. We are producing. Holy smokes! It is it is churning through that. It, it sent over almost eighty five hundred, well over eighty five hundred liters of wood, and now we're getting our various uh, planks, planks long, wood beams, and prefab walls. I mean, I can tell you the northern sawmill is not producing this quickly. So this is awesome. This is this is going to get us exactly what we need, and uh, and then some. I must say I'm pretty pretty happy. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows that you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. That being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.